Without knowing the second home, how can one know the path to heaven? Bai Xiefeng. Many yearn for a heavenly life and engage in practices to reach heaven, but without knowing the second home, how can one know the path to heaven? To enter heaven, there are a few stringent criteria. One must be free from worldly ties, have repaid all karmic debts, possess a selfless nature, and know how to truly enjoy life. Without experiencing life in the second home, how can one meet these criteria? It's simply not possible. Engaging in worldly relationships to escape them is like trying to wash one's feet in mud, it just doesn't work. How can one then be free from worldly ties? Trying to repay karmic debts while living in the mundane world is like robbing Peter to pay Paul. How can one ever be debt-free? In traditional society, achieving selflessness is as impossible as lifting oneself by one's hair. Even if one aims for it, the very process of living without self-interest makes survival impossible. Do you know how to truly enjoy life? If not, what business do you have in heaven? Racing cars, riding roller coasters, sailing yachts, bungee jumping, or gambling in casinos, do you think that's what enjoyment means? Wrong. Without experiencing recreational activities in the second home, you hardly know what true enjoyment is. Thus, it's clear that without the refinement of living in the second home, no matter how much one practices, it's incredibly difficult to enter heaven. Do you think understanding the Diamond Sutra, Heart Sutra, Quran, Bible, Tao Te Ching, or other religious texts will get you into heaven? That's a dream. Understanding alone does not grant passage to heaven, only action does. But can you take the necessary actions? I often talk about owning nothing yet possessing everything, which is a reflection of life in heaven. But can you truly own nothing? Without the second home, owning nothing would make you a beggar, wouldn't it? Even beggars have difficulty owning nothing, they still need their begging bowls and sticks, making it hard to achieve true nothingness. Without the second home, once you own nothing, you're likely facing death, not possessing everything. Some might say, I can achieve owning nothing yet possessing everything by practicing in a monastery or temple. But consider this, as a human being brought into this world, did the Creator intend just for you to practice in religious institutions? Everything created has a clear purpose. If you make a kettle, isn't it meant for boiling water rather than serving as a mouse's nest in a storeroom? Did the Creator create humans merely for monastic life? I see many discussing the principles of being human, moral values, how to elevate one's cognition, virtues like benevolence, righteousness, propriety, wisdom, and faith, and even how to ascend from the three-dimensional world to the fourth or even fifth dimension. These discussions are good, but what I want to convey is that these topics alone won't lead you to heaven. In summary, without understanding and personally experiencing the production and living model of the second home, hardly anyone can make their way to heaven. September 2nd, 2023. ChatGPT can make mistakes. Consider checking important information.